Okay, a string can also be treated like an array. So let's say I have an object or variable called word with the value of Python in it. So if I were to tell word what was the character and position zero, it will return the answer of P, which is the first letter of the word. And if I tell Python to give me the fifth character in the Python word, the answer will be N. So Python is a six letter word, but in all programming languages, all arrays will start with zero. So a six letter word will have a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters or 6 characters and I can also tell Python to return from behind the last letter so what if I tell Python to return to me the second last letter of the word Python and the answer is O. Oh. How about negative 6? It's P. Okay, I can also do this. Return to me two characters beginning with the third character so it'll say py or return to me the characters beginning with the second character or particularly the third character and I want five characters but because we are already at the third character there can only be three remaining characters to be printed So T show. Okay, I can also do this. Word in Python, the start and all and eh, the start is always included and the end is always excluded so this makes that the s bracket colon i plus s i colon bracket is always equal to s so word colon 2 plus word to colon will return Python so this is called slicing and slicing indexes have useful defaults and omitted first index defaults to zero and omitted second index defaults to the size of the string being sliced so what was it that we typed earlier on? Word colon 2 is pi and word 2 colon is 10 so if you remember in our sentence Python is made up of six letters so we have zero one two three four five and then negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five and negative six
Okay, so if we need a different string, we can always create a new one. So I'm going to type j plus word one colon and the answer would be jaitan. Okay, so last but not least, you can also return the total number of characters in a string. So super super califragilistic expelliadocious. That's quite a mouthful. So let's get the length of S and it's 33.